Hello! Welcome to Teach Me Maths. My name is Jonathan Hicks and we're converting fractions to decimals. Now, the main thing you need to understand to be able to do this is division. Surprisingly enough, you just need to know how to divide ordinary numbers. As long as you can do that, this is pretty straightforward. So I'll start with an example. Imagine you've got 3 eighths and you want to convert it into a decimal number. Now what you need to remember here is that a fraction, any fraction, is essentially just a division. Yeah, this means 3 divided by 8. The line in the middle means division, means divided by. So if you just divide 3 by 8, you can work out what it is as a decimal. Let me show you how. So this is just normal division here. We want to know how many 8s go into 3. So 8s into 3. The difficulty is, you say, how many 8s in 3? It goes 0 times. And then what do you do? Well, there's just a little trick here you have to remember. 3 could be written as 3 point zero 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 as many zeros as you like, really. And now I've got the digits to do my remainders and things and actually do the division. So strictly speaking, you say, how many 8s go into 3? That goes 0 remainder 3. Or you can just read it as 30 across here, it's fine either way. Make sure you put a decimal point above the one below, and then you're saying how many 8s into 30? Well, 8s into 30 you're going to go 3 times, 3 8s are 24. And from 24 up to 30 the remainder is going to be 6. So you put a 6 there, and you're saying how many 8s in 60? Well, 7 8s are 56, remainder 4, which goes there. How many 8s into 40? That goes five times. And the remainder now is zero. So when you have a zero remainder, you can just stop. And we don't need any of these other zeros on the end. I mean, you can leave them there. It doesn't really make any difference, but we don't need any of that. And what it means is that 8s into 3 go 0.375 times. So 3 eighths as a decimal number is 0.375. And that method will work for converting any fraction at all into a decimal number. You just need to know how to divide and remember to stick a point zero zero zero, however many zeros you need, on the end so that you've got room for all the remainders. I'll show you a couple more examples because this can get harder, but that method is always exactly the same. All right, so we'll try two thirds next. Thirds are quite common, so it's one that's worth learning. All right, uh, so we're saying how many threes divide into two? So again, I'm going to write this as two point zero 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 for however many zeros we're going to need. We don't know at the start how many we need, uh, so you just write a whole bunch. All right, threes into two, go no times. Two is too small to fit a three into it. Make sure your decimal point goes above the one below. And if 3 goes into 2 0 times, the remainder is 2, which I'll put there. So then you say, how many 3's in 20? Well, 3 6's would be 18, and the remainder then is 2, which will go on the next 0, and 3's into 20 again. Well, we've just done that one, that's going to be 6. 3's into 20 goes 6 times, remainder 2. And then it's 3's into 20 again, which is 6 times, remainder 2. And it's 20 again. In fact, you can see what's going to happen here. This is going to be 20 all the way along. Because every time it's going to go in 6 times, remain 2. 6 times, remain 2. So in fact, the 6s here are going to go on forever. Because these zeros, yeah, 2 is just 2.00000, and the zeros go on forever. You can have as many zeros as you like. And this is never going to end. It's always going to go in 6 times, remain 2. So the answer, if you like, 2 thirds as a decimal, is 0 0.6666666, where the sixes go on forever. In math, we said that's a recurring decimal, and you can write that as 0 0.6 with a dot above it like that. So that means 0 0.6 recurring, i.e. 0 0.6666666, where the sixes go on forever. So two thirds as a decimal is 0 0.6 recurring. Okay, let's try another one. We'll have a twelfth this time. 
So how many 12s into one? It's very important you get these the right way around. A lot of people want to write a one and the 12, that's the wrong way around and it won't work, okay? The one on the bottom always comes first. You're dividing by 12, the number you're dividing by goes outside the division. So 12s into one, and again we make that into one point zero 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 zero, however many zeros you want. So 12s into one go nothing. Remember your decimal point, and the remainder 12s into 1 go nothing, remain a 1. So you put that there. So now it's 12s into 10. But that still doesn't go, and this can happen. That's why I'm giving you this example. 12s into 10 still goes 0, so you put the 0, and this time the remainder is the full 10. And you do have to write all of that 10 next to the next digit here. So that's a 10 up there with a 0 makes it into a 100. Yep, 100 zero, zero is 100. So now you're saying 12s into 100. Well, 12s into 100 will go 8 times, I think. 8, 12, and 96, so the 8 goes there, and from 96 to 100 is remainder 4, so then it's 12s into 40, that's going to go 3 times, 3 12s are 36, so remainder 4, 12s into 40 go 3 times, remainder 4, hang on a second, we've seen this before, 3 times remainder 4, it's just like this one, these 3s are just going to keep going on forever, because it always goes in 3 times remainder 4, 3 times remainder 4, 3 times remainder 4, the zeros go on forever, so the threes will also go on forever. So we can write a twelfth as a recurring decimal. This time it's slightly different from this. It's not just one digit that goes on like that, because there's some other stuff first. So it's going to be 0 0.083, and it's the threes that go on forever. So it's 0 0.083, and you put the dot above the three to indicate that it's the threes that go on forever. So sometimes that can happen. You can have other stuff at the front first, and then you'll hit a digit which just goes on forever. So a twelfth as a decimal is 0.83, sorry, 0.083 recurring. All right, we'll do one more because um, this is probably the next one is the hardest of the lot, and you will see it every now and then. And that's a seventh. So it's not a particularly unusual fraction, but if we try and do the division here, so it's sevens into 1, and again we stick all the point zero zero zeros on the end so that we've got room for the remainders. And we're going to need quite a few for this one. Right, 7s into 1, go nothing, remember the decimal point, remainder 1. 7s into 10, go 1, remainder 3. 7s into 30, we'll go 4 times, 4 7s are 28, remainder 2. 7s into 20 go twice, 2 7s are 14, remainder 6. 7s into 60 will go 8 times, I think, 8 7s are 56, remainder 4. 7s into 40 will go 5 times, yeah, 5 7s are 35, so that's remainder 5. 7s into 50 will go 7 times, because 7 7s are 49, so that's remainder 1. At this point, I'm going to stop because I've hit the same remainder as I had before. Now I know what's going to come next here, because I've already done remainder 1. Yep, 7 into 10 will go once. Remainder 3. And then I'll have a remainder 3 here, and I know what will happen there as well, because 7 will go into 34 times, remainder 2. So as soon as you hit a, digit, a remainder you've already had before, it's going to repeat what you had before. So 7 into 10 go once. Remainder 3, 7s into 30 will go 4 times, remainder 2, etc. But this 142857 that we've got here is then going to be repeated. It's going to be 142857. Yeah, 142857, and it'll just keep going round. 142857, 142857, 142857, forever, because the zeros go on forever. So it's recurring, kind of, but it's not a single digit that's recurring. It's not even a bunch of other stuff and then a single digit that was occurring. It's a section of numbers that are going to repeat and recur in that way. So how do you write that out? Well, it's going to be naught point. You write out all the digits that are going to repeat. So naught point one four two eight five seven, and then you stick a dot above the first and the last digits of the ones that are going to repeat. 
So it's going to be 0 0.1 with a dot over it through to 7 with a dot over it. So as a decimal, a seventh is going to be 0 0.142857 with the dots above the 1 and the 7. And that means that the 142857 keeps repeating over and over forever. That's as hard as it's ever going to get. Most of the time, you're going to get much easier ones. And most of the time when they ask you in math test to convert fractions into decimals, they're not even going to be recurring ones. These are unusual. Most of the time it'll work out nicely. You'll find it'll go in exactly at some point and then you just stop, you've got your answer. But I wanted to cover these recurring ones so you could see what would happen and how you deal with it when it gets a bit trickier. My name is Jonathan Hicks and you're watching Teach Me Math.